Hello everybody, welcome back. We got a fun one this week. We're gonna make television antennas. And I think a story time is probably needed because most of you out there probably have no idea what something like this is used for. Um, television antennas back in the day when everything was in black and white. Uh, this was what you used to get the television signal into your house. It was an analog, uh, basically, receiver. And much like a radio in your car, the signal would come in from a tower and into your house through a wire. And that was how you would watch television, to put it in very simple terms. Um, <laughs> Then, uh, of course, then we had satellites came along and satellite dishes. So before satellite dishes, the way you got your signal into your house was through a television array such as this. And I think they're quite beautiful and I think they're fun to make. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, you can search it on the internet and you can find all kinds of wonderful examples and of of television antennas. The, this one I made, uh, the, the, the main spine of it is made out of pine wood, um, some strips of cardboard, um, the long strips you see here, these are actually brazing wires, which are quite expensive. So I think we're gonna, the examples that we're gonna make, I'm not gonna use this material because uh, I don't think, I don't think everybody out there wants to Go to the trouble of finding something like this so we can do it just out of cardboard and um, I do have this metal banding which is sharp and very difficult to work with if you don't have the right tools I think what we'll do the first example we're gonna make we're just gonna try and make the entire thing out of wood and not use anything metal at all but we're going to try and make it look identical to this, or close to it. So let's, let's get started. And if you have any more questions about television antennas, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, but for now, let's just get to it. Here I've got some tie wraps. I've got a little bit of aluminum wire, different gauges. We can make the, the spokes that you see here. We, instead of flat spokes, we can do it with straight wire spokes as well. These little tie wraps, I think, work good for making the, the, the wiring from the antenna itself. So we'll keep this off to the side as well. You can use different gauge wire too. If you have just little pieces of uh, offcuts of electrical wire, that'll work as well. And for the pole, I use brass, but also it's quite expensive. So we're gonna set it off to the side. We're just gonna focus on doing this out of some pine. Now, I, I like to make my own dowels. Uh, so I've, I've made some dowel kits. Um, the, these are basically just pieces of metal. And again, you need some pretty heavy duty machinery to, to cut things like this. Um, but of course, if you're interested, just ask me in the comments and I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. So I basically cut down square stock like this. I run it through my, my tool and it gives me beautiful little dowels. This one makes large, large dowels. This one makes large dowels. And this one, of course, makes the smaller ones.
want to have a pole inside a pole. So I'm going to drill a little hole and slide that inside. So we have a mast, now we need to make a little foot, and if you see, if I can just slide this one off, our example, we have the, the, basically the neck of the antenna, and we have a cardboard support for the, for the neck. And the nice thing about this cardboard, if you just have yourself a little pad of sandpaper, you can just gently sand it. Okay. Okay, that's going to fit nicely. Let's Mm-hmm. 